Hi everyone, it's Agent Juicy and this is part two. In this video, what we are going to do, it's basically, I'm going to show you how to take any Android application or APK, Android Pack Kernel, and convert it to a bar file or Blackberry app, if you want to call it that. So the first step is I'm going to post the Viber application and I'm going to show you how to sideload the Viber as well. So this is like how to sideload Android app directly to BlackBerry Q10 or something like that is going to be the title. So what we're going to do, you're going to download the APK file on mediafire.com, link in the description down below. And when you download it, you're going to basically take that from your downloads folder and you're going to drag it into this folder right here or this folder that we made, which was extracted from the part one video. And in this folder, it should have libsdk register install and convert android applications renew token and debug token okay so what we're gonna do it's we're gonna take the viber now because you just dragged it from your downloads to this folder here and this is the most important step if you if it's not in the folder it won't work so now you're gonna take the the viber application or the apk you're gonna take it and you're gonna drag it and put it directly on top of convert android app you see it right here convert android app I'll just drag this to the side so you can see open wit convert android app at the bottom there just so you just drag it and drop it so i'm going to pick it up and just drop it right on the convert android app so if you did this correctly it's going to go like this and what you're going to see up here it's something like this and just hang in there i'm going to i'm going to let the video takes its well i'm just going to record everything so you guys can see how it works if 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 the APK file that you install closes on its own, there's a high chance that it works really well. If this does not close, what I realize, it does not work. But that's just a side note. And that's going to be in the error video as well. Which should be up by tomorrow. Because I'm probably going to get like a million questions with people confused. See, so it closed on its own. I did nothing. And now what we do have here, it's two more files, which is viber.wrn you can see wrn right there and then we have a db uh, bar file so we have a wrn file and a bar file so what we're going to do now i want you to restart your phone make sure that the the development mode is turned off and i want you to restart your phone then after you restarted your phone you're going to basically go to and i'll tell i walk through you with my voice pull down from the top settings Scroll all the way down to security and privacy, all the way down to uh, development mode. And you're gonna turn on the development mode. It's gonna ask you for a password. Make sure and enter the passcode that it, that it asks you for, or you may save it as. So after you finish that, what you're gonna basically do now, you're gonna hit the start button, and you're gonna connect your uh, device via USB now, to your BlackBerry smartphone, so your computer is in sync now. You're going to see device is now paired with computer. Well, after you see the device has been paired with your computer on your smartphone, you're going to hit scan. And please ensure that the development IP address and the development IP address on your BlackBerry smartphone is the same. Now you're going to go down to your passcode, the same passcode that you entered when you turned it on, and you're going to enter it. Then you're going to hit the connect button. Now, if you if the phone isn't connected, you're gonna get an uh, error code called uh, bar deploy Java or some error code like that. So you can see my phone is connected. Do not add my PIN. I, I said it like really clearly in the last video, and I still got people adding my PIN. They got they got like a a decline, but still, don't add my PIN. I've got Twitter, I got BBM channels, you guys can check out all that stuff as well and ask me questions there, I respond to every single comment. So now what we're going to do now is hit add. It's going to basically go and you're going to have to look for the folder, so you go to the desktop and wherever your files are, you're going to basically select on the file that you want. Then you're going to simply hit on the Viber, the bar file that we just made, and you're going to see it like this. Now you're going to want to hit install. No, no you're not going to hit install. If you looked at my previous video, I emphasized this. Ensure these two boxes are checked. Click on these two. So click on this one and click on that one. 
and sure it's checked. If it isn't checked, you're gonna get an error code. So hopefully this goes according to plan and let's just hit install because everything seems to be working. So right now I have, uh, well I have the Viber on my phone already but it's just gonna re-wipe everything and reload it. So if this goes according to plan, you're going to see the static here. Well, you're going to see a check mark here. And for static, you're going to see OK if the install was perfect. If the install was not perfect, you're going to see minus 9 or minus 12. And you're going to see uh, not probably not a tick there or a check mark. So this is how you basically install Viber. So I'm basically going to just let the Viber uh, go for a second. And you see 50%. Okay, because so you see the, the check mark and the okay, right? You should have that. And pretty much Viber's on your phone now. So if you scroll down to the last page or wherever, you're gonna see Viber on your smartphone. So um yeah, that's how you basically uh convert an APK file to a bar file and then sideload it. So now you're probably wondering how to find APK files. Uh, I'm gonna put up a video which is going to be with the arrow video, which is probably going to be really long, and that's going to come out maybe tomorrow or tonight, depending on how I feel. I was sick for the past couple days, so I really do appreciate you guys, uh, well, most of you guys just hanging in there, giving me some extra time. Um, hopefully you should not have an error with this. This is Agent Juicy. Please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. Um, what else could I say? I'll see you guys later in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.